Hi, do you want to see a few things I'm excited about? First of all, I'm excited about wearing the Pratea trousers that I have made. Second of all, this like elderflower cordial I've been making. Ooh, ooh, it's quite bitter, but like good bitter. And the other thing I'm really excited about are these strawberries. And the other thing that I'm really, really excited about is the pattern that I'm going to be launching at some point this summer. It has arrived and I get to test it and I get to see how it looks and how it feels. And um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm really, really excited. So let's just get into it and let me tell you about how I am planning to launch a pattern. Also, my hope is that by the end of this video, you go and do that thing that scares you and excites you at the same time. Because honestly, that's what I'm doing with this pattern. It's so scary, but it's so exciting and it's so much fun and I've not even sold anything yet <laughs> so I have wanted to launch a little pattern for a year now but it took me a while to know what pattern specifically I wanted to create but in February it hit me I wanted a beautiful timeless slip dress that would be bra friendly because let's be honest my boobies need all the support they can get <laughs> after breastfeeding a child <laughs> they need it anyways I also wanted a dress that was perfect for day wear and evening wear. So I reached out to my friend Sarah, who is a pattern maker and went to fashion school and I asked her to work with me on this. I have no experience in pattern making, so I wanted to work with a professional to ensure that the pattern was going to be 10 out of 10. Sarah agreed to work with me, which was really, really great. And we began the project together um, and fast forward to today the pattern finally arrived in my mail i was so nervous to open it but it was time it was time to see what all of those months of thinking and planning and working led to i've always wanted to run a small business i've always wanted to see what it's like and to see if i'd enjoyed it so this is it people it's happening guys guys i'm working on my pattern can you believe it? I can't believe it. Oh, my friend, guys. I'm so excited I get to work on this. I've been thinking about this pattern and dreaming it up for the longest time now. And the fact that it's in my hands and I get to test it, it feels unreal. Sometimes I think, oh gosh, this is just like a slip dress, like stop getting so excited about it. But then where I come from, there's a, there's a verse that says, do not despise the day of small beginnings. And this feels like a really small beginning for me, but like an exciting one and a terrifying one. And I cried about it and I smiled about it and I am petrified. Uh, most of me thinks nobody's gonna buy it. Part of me thinks, what if people are gonna buy it? Wouldn't that be exciting? What if I get to experience what it's like to design and dream and, launch and promote and put like my mind to it so yeah there's definitely terrifying things and exciting things up in here but one step at a time and i hope that um yeah i hope that i learn and that i grow through this so let's just kind of finish this pattern and let me show you what what it looks like i want to see what it looks like <laughs> All right, so I have about 45 seconds of footage where I finished the dress and you already know by now that I'm launching a pattern, so enough about me. I want to make this about you. You and that thing you've been wanting to do for the longest time. The thing that's been with you for weeks, months, and even years. It excites your heart and it scares your brain. Here's the thing. If you feel you don't deserve to do it, do it anyways. If you think you're gonna fail, do it anyways. Don't self-reject. Give yourself a chance to have a go, to learn and to grow. You owe yourself that. And if not now, then when? So do it with me and let's both see what happens. Go for it, friend, okay? Um, all right, we've, oh goodness. Is this overexposed? It looks overexposed. Let me just change my aperture to make myself look a little more alive. Is this better? I don't know. First of all, if you've been noticing my hair uh, being a little bit more messy is because for the past three weeks, I've tried not to curl my hair. 
Also, I'm just realizing I'm filming in front of, win of the window and people are walking, so now I'm getting self-conscious. But I have finished kind of bias binding the underarm and the neck. And I have a thought, which is that this dress is really simple in design, but because it's so simple, you really don't have much to hide behind. So you really have to be very kind of neat when working, which is really relaxing, but it is also like, challenging so I don't think I'm gonna say that this is like a beginner friendly dress because I feel like it's not if I feel like it looks like it is but it's not yes I feel like it's an intermediate pattern um <clears throat> and I really have to tidy up all of this mess and I have to hem it and uh not gonna lie I have to like suck in my tummy <laughs> or like buy some shapewear um or just get comfortable with the fact that i have a tummy because i had a baby <laughs> my belly is just not the same ever since i had a baby not gonna lie uh and i like to be body positive but i've also missed my belly before i had a baby not gonna lie either um anyways I'm gonna have to hem this. I'm gonna do a little baby hem. I've made so many notes about changes I wanna make to the pattern, but I'm gonna show you the pattern as draft one. I'm considering making like a mini version as well of the dress. Um, apparently you should be very careful who you tell your plans to because people could easily come and kill your dreams. So anyways, if you have anything negative to say, just take it somewhere else, don't leave it on my channel because I'm feeling really insecure about this already. <laughs> so, really appreciate it if you didn't kill my hopes and dreams. Anyways, gotta go and do a baby hem and tidy up the, the sleeves. Just having lunch. My dress is drying. I felt the need to hand wash it for whatever reason. So after lunch, I'm gonna try the dress on. I'm feeling nervous. I give it a seven for effort. <laughs> it's just working with satin. It's very, very slippery. There's a plane above my head. For lunch, I'm having sourdough bread that I wrapped with garlic, tomato, and drizzled with olive oil and salt and it's a uh, it's banging <laughs> Okay, so I just put the pattern on. It's boiling hot here. I am sweaty and I have garlicky breath, which is not great. But I put the dress on and it's looking so pretty, so feminine, so flowy, so chic. Yeah, it's beautiful, if I may say so myself. Um, this isn't the final product. I have got adjustments, I've got changes that I wanted to make, but I think it's a really, really good start. So let me just show you. after that. I can't believe this is real life. I'm so excited about starting my own little business. I'm so excited about having a go. I feel like I'd rather get to the end of my life having had a go at things I wanted to have a go at rather than get to the end of my life and think I wonder what would have happened. So I'm gonna have a go at it. I'm gonna see if I like it. I'm gonna see if it works out. I'm gonna see what I can learn and so you know if there's something in your heart you'd like to have a go at do it because the process is really worth it it's a lot of fun to just realize that you're doing and you're pursuing a little dream of yours that in itself it's magic and you never know what might come out of it i never know what might come out of me watching this beautiful little pattern time will tell but so far it's been a good journey. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!